Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we review the English Premier League game between West Ham United and Manchester United from the London Stadium. Both teams have had mixed games, results in the games played so far. They find themselves in the bottom half of the English Premier League table. A win here for either of the team would propel them higher up in the table. Team news for West Ham United, Lopetegui prefers the 4-2-3-1 formation with Fabianski on the goal. Ex-Manchester United player Juan Basaka, Mavropana, Skillman and Emerson as the back four. Rodriguez and Alvarez as the preferred midfield two. Bobin, Soler and Lucas Paqueta as the midfield three with Antonio as the striker. For Manchester United, Eric Dan Hag formation matches with West Ham United with Burana on the goal. Mazrai back in the playing 11, Martinez and Delight along with Dalo as the back four. Casemiro is back in the midfield. He partners the in for Merrickson as the midfield two with the attacking force of Rashford, Bruno Fernandes and Garnacho along with Hoyland as the striker. Let's look at the overall game summary. First half. Almost a perfect start for Manchester United. Wonderful opening chance not taken there. Ganacho shot off the crossbar. Should have been a disastrous start for West Ham United. Fortunately for the Hammers, the scoreline is 0-0 early on in the first half. Ganacho not hitting the target. Missed a chance again to take the lead. Opening 10 minutes, Manchester United had good two opportunities. Did not capitalize them at all. West Ham United set themselves as back three when attacking, pushing more bodies up front, forward, tried to cause problems for Manchester United defence early on. Well, more opportunities fell for Manchester United. They opened the West Ham United defence, squandered two more very good chances to score with Hoyland and Bruno Fernandes. West Ham United defensively very poor, they're defensively very disorganised early on. Manchester United first 15 minutes, the last quarter, they lacked quality, very poor finishing. A similar story with the West Ham United defence as well. Both teams struggled to dominate the game. Manchester United carelessly gave away the ball very, very cheaply. Manchester United built uh, on, but they could not. West Ham United built on more pressure on the Manchester United goal. 30 minutes of the first half, West Ham United grow into the game more. 32nd minute, Dalo missed a glorious chance again. Goalkeeper beaten, he blew a shot over. West Ham United poor at the back. Manchester United ridiculous in front of the goal. Should have been three or four goals ahead. A bizarre, extraordinary 30 minutes of soccer in the London Stadium. First half of 40 minutes. It's been a game of missed opportunities for Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag. It sums up their start of the season. Been poor in front of the goal, not converting their chances. Well, first half ended, West Ham United 0, Manchester United 0. A strange and bizarre first half. Both teams were poor at crucial stages. West Ham United were poor defensively, disorganized. They allowed a lot of gaps below to exploit there. Well, Manchester United were poor. They lacked quality in front of the goal. Eric Ten Hag will rue all the missed opportunities to kill the game in the first half. They should have at least got three or four goals in the first half. Well, first half ended. West Ham United 0, Manchester United 0. Second half, West Ham United made three big changes there. Two of them lived dangerously with cautions as well. The home side needed to make those changes changed their tactics. They wanted to stray strong defensively as well. They came out better than what they did in the first half. West Ham looked much better. They asked questions of Manchester United defence. Soshek in the midfield stood strong. Somerville with his pace has been direct with his play. He made it very difficult for the Manchester United defence. Good tactical changes from West Ham United in the second half. Fabianski on the goal for West Ham United stood very strong. He made some excellent blocks in the second half as well. Marcus Rashford for Manchester United has been a lonely figure, very uneventful game for him today. He was replaced by Ahmad at the top of the hour. West Ham United grew in confidence, changes made were very effective. It pegged Manchester United back defensively. West Ham United dominated the proceedings. They played with a lot more 
energy they were a threat going forward 64th minute it was still west ham united zero manchester united zero casemiro and ericsson unable to control the midfield dominate like they did in the first half the home side controlled possession were more creative they had 13 attempts on goal in the second half they looked much hungrier and they had a lot of momentum and they looked like a change side in the second half. 74th minute, West Ham United take lead. Somerville's first goal for West Ham United, the substitute gets the breakthrough. West Ham United were there very, very fortunate. Well, very sloppy play again from Manchester United. Somerville's has been very bright and lively. He got the deserved goal. West Ham United won, Manchester United zero. Well, Manchester United also came back to level the goals as well. Casimiro heads home at the 80th minute. Manchester United go over their scoring shambles, get their goal back. West Ham United paid price for defending very deep. Delight again was punished for a challenge on Danny Ings. We are checked penalty given. Bowen converts an inch perfect penalty. West Ham United 2, Manchester United 1. 12 minutes added. Manchester United unable to make a comeback. West Ham United take all three points at the London Stadium at the cost of Manchester United. Well, Manchester United suffer yet another loss for the season. Third in a row for uh, Manchester United against West Ham United there. Punished for their lack of desire, lack of quality in front of the goal. Four glorious opportunities missed in first half with the goal at their mercy. Second half, uh, rejuvenated West Ham United looked bright, more energy, desire, deservedly took the lead and fortunate to be awarded a VR checked penalty for the winning goal. Well, what next for Manchester United? Fourth loss in nine games. They're lingering in 14th place in the English Premier League. Their worst ever performance in the top English Premier League. Can Manchester United and Eric Tag make any progress? Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such uh, reviews. Until next time, take care.